Hey everyone, Nunu here and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you guys another way or a better way to build more realistic roundabouts. Uh, for that I'll be using a few mods. Uh, in fact, there are two new mods uh, that I've added that will definitely make... Uh, they're not really going to change much the way you build the roundabouts, although, I mean, they could, uh, to be honest, they could. But the most important thing is that it makes them visually more realistic. Um, I'm gonna leave a, a link down below to those mods and um, basically also I'm gonna leave a link down below from the old video that I did about uh, building a runabout if you guys want to check it out um, for both of them it's required to have like uh, a few mods so yeah uh, either way I'm using Aisha town uh, if you haven't seen it yet um, this is after episode uh, 20, so I'm uploading these after episode 20, by the way. Um, I just did a little bit of redesign here uh, on the industrial park because I needed to make some space. And one of the things I don't like it is this kind of intersection uh, and this one. These four-way intersections, they're not very good when it comes to, um, basically, when it comes to traffic. Therefore, we're going to start doing our runabout. Now, the way, the easiest way is to have, of course, the runabout uh, builder mod. Uh, first of all, you could select what kind of uh, road you want to do the runabout. I go this way. And... Um, then you click here and there it is runabout is built and that's the easiest way right but it doesn't look good does it uh, no it doesn't look that good we can do the same thing here with this other one because this is also going to be a runabout boom there it is now we're gonna have like two runabouts nearby but I think that's the best process because having four-way crossings is not very very good okay so we have built the runabouts there they do have a nice uh, size I mean I could have made this one slightly smaller uh, I've kept them all at the same size but yeah that's that's it now there's another mod which is note controller 2.0 now this is a really nice mod because this doesn't if I use this mod uh, what happens is I'm gonna be able to kind of like build this um, runabout without having to to use that many uh, without having to use like uh, road anarchy or anything like that and basically what I want to do here is I want to make it smoother um, so that you do have like this uh, smoother area uh, around here so uh, how much was this by the way, uh, 20. I think 20 should be fine in here too. So we can use this. This is one way, okay? It's, I'm not saying this is the best way, but it's it's one way of doing it. Um, by the way, you guys can uh, remove the... Um, you guys can remove the, you know, the, the, the walking paths, um, crossings, I'm sorry. Um, but that may not be necessary. So, um, another thing I'm going to do in here, by the way, because I don't want these crossings in here, is just, uh, and I should have done that before, um, uh, it's kind of like upgrading this or have using this uh, road instead. So, this is a proper, um, it's a highway. Uh, you can, later on, using the Traffic Manager Present Edition, you can edit it and make it in a way that it's um, kind of like uh, more, um, I'm not going to say more realistic or uh, with the speed limit a little bit more realistic. Uh, the only issue is that you have, you, know, you have the name, you can change it to, um, I don't know, um, what we want to call this, North Park, North Park um, Roundabout, I don't know, something like that. Yeah, that's North Park Runabout. Um, either way, um, here we had a smooth of 20. Um, I think it should work out. I mean, we have different kind of uh, roads in here. As you guys can see, the, there, are dif there are different colors. Um, I'm not gonna work, uh, although we could do something in here, right? Uh, why not just change this one here and uh, this one here and um, yeah it this way it should be fine and it, it looks slightly better 
I think. <laughs> and once again, let's go back here and try to um, go on. There you go. Um, yeah, we could we could remove the crossing, but the crossing here is fine, I think. Um, for here, we are also going to do the same thing. We want to do. Uh, we don't want to break, so we can go up to. How much is this one? Uh, I think up to 26. And the same thing we can do in here. We can go up to 26. 26. There you go. So you kind of have already a, a, a good look and feel. But the problem is the lines. The line control is not good. And that's when this other mod comes into uh, play. Which is intersection marking tool. Now, using the intersection marking tool, you can select one of the mods, uh, one of the nodes, I'm sorry, and now you can play with lines, and that's that's the cool thing about it. So, this line should connect here, and it should be solid. I think it's what makes sense. Another thing that you should make a connection is this one, which also should, should be solid, okay? And this one should connect here and also should be solid. Now, you're kind of free to do whatever you want or however you want it to be done. Um, honestly, I think that the way these things should be done on the roundabout is it's, it's up to you. I honestly say it's up to you. Um, but at least you have an, an overall idea of what you can do. Okay, so um, this one should be, uh, at least that's how it is on my country. Uh, normally this part where the cars come in or out, it's, um, you know, dashed. Uh, the same thing should be here and should, uh, should I find a note? Here it is. Uh, I've also copied the style from this other one, so I can paste it in here, and it's 2.5 of spacing, which should be okay, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, now, from here, through, um, and this is this is the f the the fun part in here is that um, here to here, I would say this is should be also solid. Because this section in here, cars will not drive. This is where cars do park themselves or where they park. So it's kind of like, yeah, from here to here, it they don't really go there, but they do go here. So let's keep on dash. Um, eventually, you may not even want to do that. Um, not entirely sure if that's what um, we want. But we can do the same thing here. We can have a, 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 a dash over there. And I think we can even, uh, or maybe we should remove these ones. Wait, wait just a second. Because what we want to do is, and first of all, let's just build this in here. So clicking Alt key on your keyboard, it brings these smaller red dots. They are used for fillers. And fillers, they it's just, you know, you can select different kind of fillers like strip, gri uh, stripes, grid, solids, uh, chevrons, whatever. I normally I go with stripes and I go with an angle of 45% uh, normally. And I'm gonna do the same thing here on this side. So this is just to say to these guys that, hey, this is um, this area you, you shouldn't drive okay you shouldn't drive on this area now normally what I would do is and that's something we can do right we can go here and build a line um, through here and we could even remove the styling because you may not want to show it and we also want to build a line here and remove the styling and I'm doing that because I want to do this section in here in the center um, as you guys can see there's now dots in here I want to do this section in a way that uh, it kind of becomes more like that with fillers 
I think that's the proper way of, 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 of doing it, by the way. I just got out of it. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to build uh, a line here and we're going to erase that uh, styling. And we're going to do the same thing here and we're going to erase that styling. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to come back and do something. But for now, I wanted to do that because I want to do this. Um, where is it? Yeah, the card is not allowing me to do what I wanted, but at least I can do this and I can add a filler like that. And um, angle 45, I think 45 works. No, um, zero works good in here, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, so it would be good. I'm not sure if I can do that. Let me just see if I'm able to do um, so I wanted this one in here to just kind of have a different rule. Let me see if I can do, um, yeah, I think I can go like from here. I would like it to be around here instead of going all the way here. So. Let me see if I can do that here. So let's just build this one in here and paste the style and do the same thing in here. Eventually you can uh, play around with it and probably fix it later on if you want to. But that's one way of doing things, okay? That's a really cool way of uh, building uh, this section of the roundabout. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining parts of it. Um, the process is basically the same. So I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. Okay guys, so I am back, um, kind of finished everything in here. It's a very simple runabout, um, but the design itself looks so much better this way than it used to look uh, the other way. It, it, it seems more real or more realistic, even though it does have like a few uh, things that are missing. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if this line should stay like that and yeah. It definitely looks like a more realistic runabout and you can see the order where the where everyone's gonna go um, and basically I think I think we can have like the on, on proper node we can say hey uh, I'm not totally sure where uh, cars go from here on I think all I have to say is that inside is priority everything else should give um should give order okay something like that and instead you, you could even work with the line management if you want to uh, okay so this looks a lot better but uh, something is missing and it's the middle part of the of the runabout i mean you could leave it like that uh it it's it's fine but i like to add more life to it. I like to add more stuff into it. So what I normally do is I go, um, I have already the props, I go to the edge. I have different kind of edges. Um, I do like uh, this one in specific and I select the, with the prop uh, entry under key on, I select the circle option 
and all I have to do is select, try to select the middle point, click, and then try to make it at the center. Uh, it's not easy, to be honest. Uh, it's not really easy to find the center, but uh, it can be something close to it. So we place it like that, just like that. It looks okay. I mean, it's not the best one, but it it, it looks fine. We can do the same thing with trees. Um, we can have some smaller trees or small bushes in here. Um, I think we can go with like this one. Um, so, and then we can go and build um, something more in, into the inside, something more like that. And um, eventually we can just have like some kind of rock. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if we have, yeah, we can have like something like that. Okay. And yeah, very simple uh, detailing in here. And this runabout looks like, it looks so, so much better. It definitely looks so much better. And uh, all we had to do was use a few mods and uh, yeah, didn't take that long either to make it uh, kind of prettier uh, in here. Um, we can try to do, um, if you guys want, you can also use um, the same methods that I did on the last one, on the last uh, episode and where you can have like the fine road, um, the fine road tool and um, move it to kind of like place a different kind of uh, uh, a runabout. This one, um, I did the same process as the, as the other one. Uh, I just didn't use the control node. All I did was just placing the uh, roads in here. So these are highways, entries and exits. And then I only used the, you know, the decal, um, in this case, the intersection marking tool instead of decals or anything like that. And it looks slightly different, but yeah, it looks more or less realistic and that is the main point in here so guys that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, if you have any questions please uh, let me know um, down below in the in the comments and yeah hope to see you guys on my next video cheers